hello it's Sarah and the next thing I want to do today is I have this bead like wind chime dangle and I feel like I can have two for the price of one so I'm gonna take this apart there are actually nine different um, sections of chain that I made and I made each one of these painstakingly by creating a piece with wire. So I strung a bead with wire and then wrapped it around each end. I made all every single bead that way. Every single bead has a piece of wire through it with a wrapped loop on the end. And then I connected each one in a in a kind of a I'll take them off here and I'll come back. All right, so basically I made them sort of in a pattern. I mean, I can see that I've, I don't know why. I mean, <laughs> I tried to kind of see how the purples go like that and then that should be there. So I don't know why it's not in place. Um, and, you know, so all these leaf beads go in a row so that when it was in a circle, it would have looked whatever but here's the thing that doesn't ma uh, matter I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna take four I'm gonna do these four together and these four together and I have one more actually that's in the middle I had originally done it on this like big bottle cap and I I have and it never hung right and I have a feeling it's because of where I punched my hole in the middle. Um, I'm gonna open this, sorry. I guess I didn't need to do this, but um, it always hung lopsided. And so I never used it and I wasn't, I don't know, it was just sitting in a drawer. So I, you know, I've been working out in the yard and I just thought these would look so pretty out there. For the most part, these are plastic beads. Um, but probably no, I can see right here one, two, three, four, five, six, glass, seven. Actually, most of this is glass. Um, but that's not to say I tried to create, like, I went and bought these, were definitely all on clearance when I went to get these, and I bought strands of very um, bright colors. That's all I remember. But yeah, definitely some of these were in my stash. Um, anywho, what I'm thinking of doing, I have this wire, copper wire it says, this is by Doris and I'm pretty sure I got it Joanne's. Um, I was just playing with alcohol ink and didn't wash my hands before I jumped right into this, so I don't think it's coming off guys. But anyway, I think I got this at um, Joanne's. It's sterling silver plated anti-tarnish coating, 16 gauge, sterling silver plated copper wire. And what I think I'm gonna do is create a holder. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So I, this is what I have in mind, a hanger style, right? One, two, three, four. That's what I'm thinking. Something totally basic and simple like that. Now it would be super neat if I could do some type of design in the middle of here. Um, but if I get anything, you know, you could even put a bead in here. Absolutely. If I were going to be that adventurous to do a real hanger. Now this is going to go outside. So I don't know that I really want to put that much time or effort into it. It'll probably end up being tarnished and beaten up. Um, but this is what I'm gonna what I'm shooting for. So I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna try to get something. Now this is 16 gauge. I have um, my my needle nose pliers and my flat. Pliers. I'm trying to find which end this would come off of better this way. And um, so it's it's a bit T 
tedious. I don't know that I want to do it on camera having never done it before. But I am going to attempt to create something along those lines and I'll be right back. <clears throat> so I've gotten to a place where I think I'm going to you know, it's it's okay. It's it's going to work. I've sp evenly spaced some loops. Um it's like a hanger shape and I really want to um I might join it with a I bought, I got this littler gauge or a bigger gauge probably. If I want to support it somehow, I wanted it turned this way, the hanging part, because of the way I'm going to hang it. I'm going to hang it on a shepherd's hook, and um, the shepherd's hook goes this way, so it'll hang facing forward. Um, it's very uh, primitive, nothing fancy, but I think it's going to work. And I will show you what it looks like outside once I get it um, to the point I like it. And I'll probably make two, like I said. Uh, I have enough beads for two. And maybe I'll leave one in the house. I'm not sure. Oh, now I just fudged that up. But yeah, this is a bit tedious. So that's why I was just, I didn't think doing it on camera. And I just used this, um, this is one of my uh, Posca paint pens. Because I wanted the hole to be big enough for, um, to fit the, uh, and you know what, I think I want to wrap this. But see, then I, I was thinking I could use this wire. Just cut off a small piece of this wire and use it to wrap to keep this together. I might do that just so the handle stays together. Um, but again, this is very primitive. It doesn't need it. It's not like it's a piece of jewelry or something that someone's going to be um, handling a lot. It's just going to hang there. But it, it might be more secure if I just connect that, wrap this around it a couple times. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and connect my beads. And the other thing was, I don't know that these aren't too close together. They may, they may be too close together. So, you know, this is just my prototype. So we'll see what happens. Alright, I'll be right back. I like it. I think the spacing is good. So I have basically taken a jump ring, and these are, I don't know, I just get them at the craft store, guys. You go to the jewelry department. You know, I'm, I'm fonder of some than, than I am of others. There are different gauges and different, like, strengths of the, of the wire, and I do prefer some to others, but I don't know what they are. I don't pay attention, because I honestly just do it for fun and not, I'm not selling this stuff. All right, so look. I like it. I think I'm going to put this outside. You know what? I might put some wire wrapping just to hold, because I think the weight of it could pull it down. I might just do a little crisscross design on that. But I'm going to go ahead and make the other one. And... Then I'll take it outside and I'll show you what I'm going to do. But I'm so happy because I can see them now and you can use them. And they're, it, it's, I love it. And, I, and they're going to hang perfect. It's going to hang great. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I just figured I'd show you. I did end up doing a little simple wire wrap type thing. I don't even know. I just took this smaller gauge or... And I wrapped it, and I also uh, did it around 
this part as well in a couple places to hold it together and I think it's going to hold up just fine so I did that one and this one this one's like a little looser or I just you know and maybe I should have come back with this piece on top over here and it would have been wider so you could really make some some cool stuff with this wire but for right now I'm excited we're gonna go outside and hang these and see what they look like okay so here we are and let's see if I can just zoom in from here uh, I'm so like turned around because I'm I don't even know where my zoom is oh here it is sorry <laughs> was, all right so there they are on the shepherd's hook and I like them I do I think it looks very colorful I'm very happy that I'm using them and they're not just sitting in the house I'll tell you what else I really like that silver wire it's very I was thinking I could like drill holes in a stick or you know something like that but the silver wire is really I'm gonna come in closer the silver wire has sparkle in it's in it on its own um, I like them hopefully you guys can see that and then this was just an old wind chime that I had and it actually had the string was broken so I tied a piece of string to that and put this bling on there this is part of like a oh what the heck were they called the art I cakes so I'm going to hang that right there and I think I can leave my fairy garden alone for a little bit but I love those see they're blowing in the wind and they're blingy and colorful alright you guys this was a mess this video <laughs> thanks for watching